Well, we'd changed it so much. Um, a couple of my plays in the early White Snake uh, were kind of laughing about it, and I couldn't understand. And they felt that it was more Black Sabbath than White Snake, which sort of proved to me that it was time for for me to look look around. Uh, that things, you know, things that I felt very deeply and profoundly for uh, the direction of White Snake then I'm not going to be dragging anybody kicking and screaming along the way. They come voluntarily or, you know, share the same vision. That, that's really important. And we were working, uh, Neil had rejoined the band. John was just uh, on fire, beautiful and in, incredible uh, fiery musician. Um, and Cozy was driving the band incredibly. Uh, it was a, uh, an astonishing transition from the early early band to what I was envisioning, this more electrifying, intense uh, um, band. And um, yeah, and, and all of, actually all of the 87 album was arranged with Cozy in mind. And the really sad thing, and I truly miss him, really sad thing is that uh, um, the offer I made for his involvement, uh, he didn't think was appropriate, sadly, so which would have made him millions of dollars, sadly. Uh, but, you know, Ainsley came in and did a kick-ass job, you know. Um, and it's also a song that it lends itself and, and still does. Uh, in, in concert, we usually tie that in with Tommy Aldridge's astonishing, breathtaking, awe-inspiring, on a nightly basis, Tommy Aldridge's drum solo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always a high point uh, for me, certainly.